Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a video that was actually very difficult for me to do because you guys know how I feel about fragrances. I don't have to go in depth. I love fragrances. I've always loved fragrances. I collect fragrances. So the fact that I am about to show you my top 10 for life fragrances that I just cannot live without. I had to go through my entire collection. I don't know how many bottles I have. I don't know. I can't remember how many bottles I have because I have decluttered some bottles, but I have a lot of perfumes and I had to narrow it down to 10. If my house was burning down and I could only save 10 fragrances, which fragrances would they be? And these are the ones. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing what I consider my top 10 for life fragrances that I can't, live life without clearly i have to always have in my collection i will repurchase i have repurchased all of the above then just go ahead and keep watching i'm gonna go ahead and jump into it i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna ask me my top is from zara it's just a silk top i love it it's so cute i just wanted to set like a sexy vibe i don't know why but yeah i got it from zara these earrings are phew, jesus they're years old i don't even remember how i got them from but i've had them for a long time we have 10 fragrances that i picked from my collection that i feel like are my ride or dies I currently, in this time, where I'm at in my life, I feel like these are the ones that they just do it for me. I, they will always serve and I just cannot live a life without. I mean, I'm pretty sure this would change as the years go on. But as of right now, these are the 10 fragrances that I am just obsessed with. And I, they're just my faves. They're, um, they're my favorites in my entire collection. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, hmm. Which one do I want to start with? Mm -mm. I'm not even going to go in any particular order, honestly. The first one I'm going to talk about is Moresque Setta. Man, and I'm not going to go too in-depth about each fragrance. I'll just kind of give you the reason why I love it and just the vibe that it gives me. But Moresque Setta, first of all, the packaging, I mean, the packaging is absolutely stunning. Look at this dent, you guys. Look at this dent. I... Oh, my God. This has mirror... It has lemon, it has amber. If you are an amber fragrance lover, I love amber, okay? I am a sucker for amber. I love amber so much. It's in pretty much, I think, every single fragrance I have, if not all. <laughs> this is a very amber, frag heavy fragrance, and it has like a, a res resins in it. It has like an aromatic feel to it, but it's still sweet, and that lemon adds like a fresh pound cake, lemon pound cake to it. It reminds me of like a lemon pound cake. Like you, when you smell a lemon cake or a lemon pound cake, it has that zestiness, but you have that sweet, creamy, and then with it, with the myrrh and the resins and amber, it just really grounds it. It makes it really, really sexy. I love Moresque Setta, you guys. I cannot <sighs> stop talking about this. I can't, I haven't talked about this in a while, but I, I just want you guys to know it's it's love. This is in my top 10 for life. I don't think I could live without this. I can't live without it. It just smells so good. And I have nothing that smells like this. Absolutely nothing that smells like this. And that's one thing I will say. A lot of these fragrances are more complex. I would say they're not um, approachable fragrances. But I would say it's because I have a refined nose. I know what I like. I like a lot of complex fragrances. So... Straight to the like, straight to the point. Um, crowd pleasing scents. They're cute. They're nice. They smell good. But I like fragrances that give me a bit more. They have character to them. So a lot of these fragrances are a bit more unique, a bit more complex. They may not be for everyone, but they're for me. But Moresque Setta is just an absolutely stunning fragrance, and this is definitely in my top ten for life because I just cannot, I can't, I cannot put this down ever, ever. It's just so good. This fragrance that is a part of my top ten for life is just, I feel like if I had to bottle myself up in a fragrance to describe literally a perfect fragrance for me or like a signature scent or what I love scent-wise, it would be this bottle. This is Fragrance Du Bois Minit Eau de Me. This is the fragrance that Demi Rowling came out with, with Fragrance Du Bois. You guys, this is just everything. It is coffee. It is sexiness. There, there's a lot of notes in here, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of notes. But if I had to describe this scent, it is sexy. It is warm. It is inviting. It's cozy. But it's still, it's like a more of like a moderate scent. It's not super duper, um, it's not a very obnoxious, 
um, beast mode kind of scent, but the scent itself is, it clings to your skin and it stays on your skin for a really long time. But it's just a beautiful scent profile. There's coffee in here. There's sweet notes. I think that there's patchouli, there's rum, there's, there's a lot. It's a very gourmand fragrance. And that's another thing. Gourmand is like, I think my top favorite fragrance family. I love a good gourmand. Love a good gourmand, edible, sweet, creamy, sexy, those kind of like very dense, heavy scents that's just my profile those are the kind of scents that i like and manit u demi is just just a stunning signature sexy beautiful 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 fragrance i mean this is i had to mention it in here because i oh god just it's so good it's so good if you guys have never smelled um manit u demi by fragrance dubois i need you to get your life and smell it because if you like scents like me you're going to absolutely love this. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. The next fragrance that is just a no-brainer, this is just a classic. I mean, I'm always gonna grab this. I'm always gonna include it in my top favorites because there's nothing else like it. And it's just the epitome of feminine, sexy, just fragrance. It's a sexy feminine fragrance. And I just, it's just perfect. It's a staple and it'll always be in my collection and in my top favorites. This is Delina Exclusive specifically the exclusive kind i don't i do like the regular delina but i prefer the exclusive more i feel like the exclusive has more warmth to it it has more creaminess it has more sweetness to it delina leans a little bit too tart for me it opens up a little bit too what's the word like yeah tart tart like it's just a little too tart it doesn't have the sweetness that i'm looking for and delina has delina exclusive has the same notes as delina but it just adds that like extra level of depth and like sweetness and just really grounds the scent and that's why i prefer delina exclusive over delina and my god every time i smell this it's just like i'm smelling it for the first time you guys I, uh, it's, this is a guaranteed compliment getter. It's a guaranteed man, like granted, we don't wear our fragrances for men, but when I tell you a man is gonna love, I don't think there's any guy who does not like the way Delina smells or Delina exclusive smells. It's just a stunning fragrance. If you are wanting something chic, something feminine, something powerful, longevity crazy, siage crazy, like if you want something like that kind of vibes like i feel like delina exclusive gives me like chanel vibes like chanel is classic she's chic sexy you know it's that woman that like that woman that kind of like has it together has it all like they're just they're just everything you want to be i don't know why chanel gives me that vibe but this is what delina exclusive gives me is that kind of vibe and it's just just an amazing, amazing, one of the best fragrances ever, I feel like, in the entire world. It's just, you just can't get tired of it. It's stunning, stunning, stunning. I absolutely love it. The next fragrance that I, I just had to include, I had, I had, I had to include in this is one that is just a mouth, a mouth watering fragrance. It's sexy, it's fruity, it's fun. I mean, it's just everything you want in a fruity fragrance. A lot of fragrances that I like, Hat, like they tend to be sexy i'm not a like childlike fragrance kind of girl like i don't want anything that's just too i don't want to say boring <laughs> i just like a lot of depth and a lot of notes and a lot of like density in my fragrance and this just gives me everything and more it gives me all of that it checks all the boxes but it's still very fruity and still very not airy it's just it's just perfect <laughs> It is just perfect. This is Zhirzhov's La Capitale. I mean, you guys have seen me talk about La Capitale over and over and over and over again. And I will continue to talk about it just like Delina Exclusive will always be in my top 10 or top favorites. La Capitale will always be. I hope to dear God my nose does not change and I don't and I stopped liking this because I know sometimes your nose can change and you kind of grow out of scent. I hope I never grow out of this because from the moment I first smelled this, I just knew. I knew this scent, it just, it was me. It's just me. Like, it's sexy. It's fun. It's flirty. It's sweet. It has leather. You have strawberry. You have, it's fruity, but it's still sexy. Like, it's hard to, it, fruity scents can tend to go very childlike if they're not done right. 
if they're not balanced with the right notes that are going to give it depth and ground it, it can easily go very clean, very fresh, very um, airy kind of vibes. But this is like a very fruity, powerful, sexy scent. If I had to describe Georges La Capital, I would say it's sexy, it's flirty, and it's fun. Like, those are the best three words to describe Georges La Capital. And it is so strong, you guys. This, the amount of compliments I get when I wear this, I, I know how this smells, like, so much. To the fact, like, if I walk by someone... And I, I know it's La Capital. Like, I know for a fact it's La Capital. I've gone to that place with fragrances where I smell fragrances on other people. I'm like, I know exactly where you're wearing. I know exactly where you're wearing. La Capital is a compliment getter. It's stunning. I feel like it's an all-year-round fragrance. A little goes a long way. The sillage is crazy. Longevity is crazy. It's just gorgeous. It's a stunning fragrance. And if you have the the chance to try to get your nose on La Capital because this is just one of the best niche fragrances that I've ever smelled in my entire life. It's just so beautiful. I had, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. The next fragrance that I had to include in my top 10 for life is one that is just a spring and summer must have for me. This will always be my collection. I will always be purchased this. It's just a beautiful, gorgeous, just, oh, gorgeous white floral fruity scent this is bdk's passessoir oh my gosh you guys oh, Jesus Christ. Mm, i've had this scent for so long i've had it since last year i've had it for almost a year and a half going on two and i the first time i smelled this i was like there's something about this scent that i really really like passessoir is just a beautiful white floral sweet spicy scent like it's just a sexy womanly fresh flirty fun floral scent like it's so it's one of the best floral scents in my opinion if you love white florals you have to check out Parsoir because it's just absolutely stunning it is a staple in my collection this is another compliment getter. All of these are compliment getters. 10 out of 10 compliment getters. You're guaranteed to have someone telling you, you smell absolutely amazing with any of these fragrances that I'm talking about. Passessoir is a spring summer must have fragrance in my opinion. If you don't have this fragrance in your collection and you like florals, specifically white florals, you need to fix your life and go get it because I mean, it's just a, it's just a must have. It's so, so good. Next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is one that is just a beautiful creamy goodness it's a it's a creamy smooth sexy warm sweet fragrance like it's just cozy if i had to describe how this fragrance smells to me i would describe it as a cozy seductive sweet scent like it's just that's just how i would describe it and i'm talking about goldfield and banks Silky Woods. Man, oh man. God, I hope, okay, I'm not gonna say, I'm not running out because this bottle's big. Oh, fall time, you guys. This is my, I, this is used and abused fall and winter because, but honestly, the thing is, I feel like you could wear this scent all year long because it has a lot of complex notes. There's oud, I think there's uh, but actually, let me look up because I really haven't looked up the notes. I haven't looked up the notes for Silky Woods in a really long time. So let me refresh my brain because I can't quite remember because a lot of the notes are very dense, but there's something that it, about it that the, it blends. All the notes are blended so well that I feel like this is a very deep scent, but it's very approachable. It's not like super duper in your face. Or anything like it just smooth creamy and cozy um yeah the top notes are cinnamon and saffron middle notes are suede oud ylang ylang and jasmine base notes are vanilla tahitian vanilla tobacco leaf australian sandalwood mask and olibanum so yeah there's a lot of very dense heavy notes in this fragrance but you would think it would be a very very like boom in your face super duper loud but it's not it's just so creamy it's so smooth. It's so sexy. It's just intoxicating. Oh, God, 
Mm, 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 mm. I cannot wait. It's August. Fall is around the corner, babes. And this one, one of my favorite, favorite fragrances for fall and winter. Silky Woods by Goldfield and Bakes is a stunner and it will always be my collection. I have always been in love with this scent since day one and it's just absolutely stunning. Next scent that I'm going to talk about is one that is just a, it's always going to be my fragrance collection. I will repurchase it when it ends and I just love mixing it with other fragrances. I feel like it stands alone really, really well. I think it's a great, beautiful, feminine fragrance that is just long lasting, that is a compliment getter, that is just it just exudes just pretty woman vibes like pretty woman vibes is what i get from this fragrance this is um mfk's gentle fluidity gold this is one that i just can't i can't put my finger on it what it is about this that is just so addictive but it just is like i don't think i've ever met anyone that does not like mfk's gentle fluidity gold and you would think that I was going to put Baccarat Rouge in this, but I'm not. I chose Gentle Fluidity Gold over Baccarat Rouge 540. Yes, I did. Because I really sat there and I looked at my perfumes and I was like, if I had to pick between the two, which one do I see myself repurchasing? And it's this. I love Baccarat 540. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I know a lot of people <laughs> hate it because it's so overworn. It's just everywhere now. But Gentle Fluidity Gold is classy. It's classy. It's feminine. It's sexy. It's you. It's very, um, what's the word? You could do a lot with this fragrance. You could, it's with daytime appropriate. It's date night appropriate. It's, you, it's all seasons appropriate. Like, I feel like this just works all year round and it works for, it's very um, adaptable. It's very universal. I feel like this just works for so much and it's such a beautiful, sexy, powdery vanilla ambery scent i love it so much i would definitely pick gentle fluidity gold over baccarat rouge 540 comment down below and let me know if you feel the same but i would repurchase this before i do 540 and that's why i had to add it into my top 10 for life because this is just another amazing beautiful beautiful fragrance that i love will continue to love and will continue repurchase in the future the next fragrance that i just had to mention in this i from the first time i saw this fragrance from the first time i sprayed it i said you're my signature scent you're my signature scent you're going to be in my collection forever i have a backup bottle of it yes i already have a backup bottle of it everything about this fragrance just screams me it's sexy it's different it's not for everyone not a lot of people, a lot of people like it, but also a lot of people don't like it. It's very, uh, it's an acquired taste, okay? I don't consider myself an acquired taste person, so I feel like I get along with a lot of different kind of people, but I like a lot of acquired taste scents. I like a lot of scents that have characters that are a bit different, and this one, when it first came out, it shook the market. Like, people were like, whoa, like, what is this? It's not what a lot of people are expecting, but I fell in love. I'm talking about Kayali's Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. You guys, you guys, you guys. The way I have used and abused this scent, when, especially when I first, I could not stop wearing this for like a month straight. A month straight. And I got the 3.4 ounce and it's already like here. Already here, and I got this when it launched in November. Sorry, you guys, they're outside doing um, lawn work and it's just loud, so hopefully, it's not too bad. I'll try to mess with the sound and audio, hopefully, you guys can't hear it. But I got Kiali's um, Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli when it first came out. I did a whole review on it, I will link it up above. But when I tell you this was an instant fall in love. I did not realize how much I liked patchouli until this fragrance because I didn't I, I knew I had to I had some fragrances that had patchouli before but it wasn't like a prominent note and when this when this fell in my hands like when I finally when I got my hands on this and smelled it I realized I'm a patchouli girl patchouli is a very mm, kind of note not a lot of people like it not a lot of people care for it but I love it I love patchouli especially when it's done right it just adds this like green earthy sexy note to a fragrance and this you guys 
Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli is one of my favorite. It is my favorite fragrance from Kayali's house. Hands down, my favorite. And it's so good that it is my signature scent. It became my signature scent as soon as I smelled it. And I knew this was always going to be in my collection and always going to be my top 10 or top must-have fragrances because it's just so different. It's so complex. It's so unique. It's sweet. It has that rum. It has those vanilla notes in there, that patchouli. It's just an elevated luxe vanilla scent. And when I tell you guys, this is just beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know how you guys feel about patchouli. I don't know if you guys have gotten your nose on this. It's not for everyone, like I said, but when I tell you this scent, it grabbed me and put me in a chokehold. It still has me in a chokehold. I love, 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 love Kayali's Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. I will never live life without it. It will always be in my collection, and this is definitely a top 10 for sure. So we have two more fragrances. The next one is one that you guys saw me talk about um, two months ago in June. You guys, I have fallen in love with this fragrance so much that it has already made this top 10 list. And I have only had it for mm, two to three months, okay? All of these fragrances I've had for almost a year plus, so I know I love them. But this one is is a new one, and it, it's, it's worked its way up to this list already. This is Navitas Ambrosia Imperial. This fragrance, you guys, when I tell you, it is one of the most unique banana note fragrances that I have ever smelled in my life. I just never thought I would be in love with a fragrance that has banana in it. I don't know why, I just never thought about it as a note, but when I first saw the note breakdown of this fragrance, I immediately was intrigued, and I was, I was intrigued and I was very interested. One, because it had a lot of gourmand notes, like there's dates in here, there's um, banana, there's um, benzoin, there's um, saffron, there's a lot of dense notes in here, so I knew it was going to be more stronger, more sexier, more like one of those stronger scents, so I already knew it was up my alley, but I was interested to see like how they put a twist with it, or how it was going to smell, because I didn't have anything in my collection that had banana in it at all. So this was my first fragrance that has banana in it. And when I tell you, an immediate, like, it just immediately fell in love with it. It's so unique. It's so different. It's sexy. It's fruity. It's gourmand. It's um, a little musky. Like, it's just so perfect. It's so perfectly blended, so perfectly done. I just had to add this scent to my top 10 because... There's something about this that I just can't not keep keep down. Like it's a very intoxicating scent. Every time I smell it, it's like I'm smelling it for the first time again. When I haven't worn it in a, a while, like a week or so, I just have to pick up the bottle just to smell it. Like I put it on today, like that's what I'm wearing right now. It's just a beautiful, fruity, gourmand, sexy, musky scent. Like just, oh, just breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. And Navitas did a great job with collabing with AI the Great. Like they knocked it out the park with this. Navitas is one of my is becoming one of my newer favorite fragrance houses. The first two fragrances that I have from them is this, as well as the Kind Intentions by Paulina Shar. Both of these fragrances I absolutely love. And when I tell you guys, I cannot live without Ambrosia Imperial. I will not, and I cannot. And it's just a must-have. You guys definitely need to get your hands on this and check it out because it's so, so good. It's so unique, it's so fun, it's so sexy. It's just, it's everything that you want in a fragrance and that's why I had to mention it in this video. All right, last but not least, we have the most newest fragrance to my collection. This was my birthday gift to myself this year when I turned 24. This fragrance, as soon as I smelled a decant of it, I said, yo, what is this? Like, what is this? I need it in my life. I need to find out where this is from. I have to have it now. Like, I've never smelled a sample and ran so quickly online to purchase a full bottle in my life than when I smelled this. This is Nisha Nay Nefs. This is a unisex scent. They don't have a female version. They don't have a male version. It's just unisex. It's just Nisha Nay Nefs. This is one of my most intoxicating, grown woman scents in my collection. 
this fragrance if it doesn't if you can't already tell by the bottle what this fragrance is here to do okay and here to say this girl she she's not here to play okay this is such a sexy scent such a sexy intoxicating you just cannot get enough of scent um the notes this has a, a few notes in there um this is a more complex scent i would definitely say i wouldn't say this is a safe blind buy scent you definitely need to get your nose on this first before you try it but i oh my god i love this scent so much it was an amazing birthday gift to myself i mean i cannot i cannot this is a um to me this is like a signature date night scent like on date nights i want to smell irresistible i want to smell intoxicating i want to smell i want you to i want to smell like you don't want to get your hands off me kind of smell like that's how i want to smell and this is what i get from this fragrance let me read you guys the notes so you can kind of get a feel of it the top notes are honey saffron fig violet and sage middle notes are rose um osmanthus jasmine nutmeg and geranium Base notes are oud, vanilla, whiskey, um, gerjan, balsam, leather, amber, cedar, and cinnamon. So this is this is a lot going on in it. A lot, a lot going on in this fragrance. But when I tell you, it is blended so smoothly, you cannot pick apart which note you're smelling. Like it is so sexy. It's a woody, warm, spicy, floral, a little oudish. A little sweet vanilla scent and I cannot get enough I cannot get enough I have been obsessed this is not a scent that I wear every day because it's just a, it's a scent that you need an outfit for you know those scents where you're just like you just can't wear just to wear like this is that for me I can't just wear this just to wear it like no I need a I need a place to go I need a place to be seen I need a place to be smelled I need a, a look we need a the whole look Okay, this 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 is one of those fragrances that deserves a whole look and more. I absolutely love Nishane Ness. It's a beautiful, stunning, intoxicating, sexy, amazing unisex fragrance. If you guys love those notes that I mentioned, get your nose on this. You will not be disappointed. I'm telling you guys, your your nose, your fragrance collection will be changed as soon as you introduce Ness to that collection. It's gonna be it's gonna be a different world. <laughs> I love this. It's so, so, so good. And I just cannot live my life without this fragrance. Alrighty, you guys, that is it. Those are all of my top 10 fragrances for life. I've never done this video before. This was really, really fun. It was very hard for me choosing all of these fragrances and just having to narrow down my collection. What I love, like ride or die, love, cannot live without, Can I, I will repurchase. Like if, if my house is burning down, I got to take these babies with me. Like this was a very difficult video for me because I love fragrances and all my fragrances have a, a place in my heart. But when I tell you each and every one of these fragrances, you guys, like it is top tier, 10 out of 10, not a 9 out of 10, not an 8 out of 10, not a 7.5. I'm talking about 10 out of 10 fragrance. All of these are amazing. I will make sure that I link every single one that I mentioned in the description box down below so you guys can check them out. If you guys love fragrance concerts from me, give this video a thumbs up so I can make sure I make more for you guys in the future. While you guys are down there, also go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. And also hit that notification bell so you're notified when your girl will be uploading next. Comment down below and let me know what your guys' signature scent is. I want everyone to let me know what your signature scent is. If you had to pick one scent that just describes you as a person the best, that you just, you feel like you are, well, you would be content with living every day smelling like that, comment down below and let me know. I'm very interested in seeing what you guys love to wear, how you guys love to smell like. Go ahead and leave that comment down below and let me know what you would consider your signature scent to be. Thank you guys so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye.